uh, this timeline thing on CNN. It says the weekend before the shooting, uh, the dad bought the gun that police think was used in the shooting. Uh, They bought it on November the 26th at one of the local stores. Uh, It says around the same day, the alleged shooter, I think we know he's the shooter. Let's just fucking murderer. Uh, Around the same day, the murderer posted a photo of a handgun on his Instagram with the caption, just got my new beauty today. It's a six hour nine millimeter with a a heart eyes emoji, apparently. Uh, And then the mum, the mom. Uh, Jennifer Crumbly also posted about the gun on social media over the weekend saying mom and son day testing out his new Christmas present. (laughs) So already you're you're building up a picture here, right? So the dad takes him out, buys him a gun. The mom takes him out to test it out to the shooting range. So this is a story about great parenting already. (laughs) I mean, like, here I am, you know, firing criticism at my parents for like, like, couldn't you two just work it out? Really? Was it that bad? Was it for the sake of my life chances? Can you like looking at my dad? I'm like, did you have to put your dick in everything? Did you have to empty your fucking balls in everything that moves? Did you really? And then like I turned to my mum. I'm like, and couldn't you just let some shit go just once? For the sake of my life chances, could you not? And then, like, what? Fucking 20 seconds later, I look back at this this new story and then fucking buying their 15-year-old child a 9 millimeter killing machine, taking him out to the gun show. I look at this shit and I'm like, oh, well, no, you, you two actually, you were actually all right parents, mum and dad. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah. You did a bang up job. I turned out amazing. It says as classes resumed after the Thanksgiving holiday, a teacher noticed that Ethan Crumbly, who is the child, the murderer, they noticed that he was searching the web for ammunition. Uh, The teacher notified school officials who contacted the parents via phone and email, but the parents did not respond. Okay. (laughs) And it says later on that Monday, Jennifer Crumbly, the mum, sent the child a text message saying, lol, I'm not mad at you. You have to learn not to get caught. Okay, so they buy him a gun. (laughs) They teach him how to shoot it at the shooting range. And then when he's busted at school, illegally looking for like, you know, ammunition site, because he can't buy it. Right. He's only 15. They bust him looking at this stuff at the school. They alert the parents and the parents reaction is like, <laughs> oh, I, re- I remember when I was your age. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, look, here's the answer to that is just just be a little bit circumspect. Right. Just just don't look at that stuff while you're at school. Like it's an old edition of Playboy or some shit. You know, and here's here's the crushing fucking irony of this is it's always the NRA guys right the gun ownership nuts the people who think that it is synonymous with american freedom that you should be allowed to own a firearm to protect your family it's always those goddy motherfuckers <laughs> who were the first to take offense and then preach about the dangers of like pornography on kids today you know like i can almost guarantee that if this little shit had been caught with a copy of Playboy in his school satchel. His parents would have read him the fucking riot act. And yet, getting busted looking up ammunition websites for killing machines. And they're like, <laughs> lol, just try not to get caught next time, yeah? <laughs>